Shalom, shalom, and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Great morning, great afternoon, wherever you're at in the world. Welcome. If you're not familiar, my name is Papaya Mitchell, and I have another prophetic word coming from the Holy Spirit, and it's coming out of the book of Genesis, chapter 35, verses 17 through 18, and it tells us, now it came to pass when she was in hard labor that the midwife said to her, do not fear, you will have this son also. And so it was as her soul was departing for she died that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin in Jesus name. Rachel allows her pain to convince her that she couldn't move forward. Rachel allows her pain to convince her that this was it. Rachel was getting ready to fold. Who is the Holy Spirit talking to? Because someone out there, you're you're at you're telling God if I don't see a breakthrough God if I don't see change in my situation God if you don't answer me God I might just fold God I might just fold in transition God I might just die in transition God I've been faithful but I almost lost my mind in transition God I've been faithful but I lost some stuff in transition God I need to see a breakthrough today or I might just fold in transition the Bible says, the midwife said, don't fear, you will have this son also. In other words, I need for you to keep standing. In other words, I need for you to keep going. I need for you to stay solid. I need for you to stay 10 toes down, no matter what. No matter if all hell is breaking loose. See, you need people who are pouring into you. You need people, you need to be connected to people who can encourage you when you're feeling weak. Who can pour into you when you're feeling empty. Who can cover you when you don't feel like praying. When you don't feel like praising. When you feel like nothing is working. You need people who will see the God in you. You need people who will connect on your behalf. Yes. And let you know that God is not done with you. God is just getting started. That this is not the end. That this is only the beginning. Rachel died in transition. See, too many people are dying in the midst of transition. And it's not because God is not there. It's not because God has left. Because the Bible tells us that he will never leave. He will never forsake us. It's an opportunity in transition to be proven. It's an opportunity in transition to be considered. Who is the Holy Spirit talking to? See, we have too many codependent people. Too many wimps. God doesn't raise wimp. He raised warriors. He raised soldiers. He raised solid people in the church. <laughs> what God is doing right now, he is taking his children to the next level. He is taking his church to the next level of maturity, of independence, of courage. A place where you will not just only experience physical change. A place where you will also experience physical change. Do you hear me? Many of you, God is raising you up in this hour. You're being promoted in this hour. But God needs to know when you stay solid in the midst of transition. When you cannot feel me. When you cannot trace me. When you don't get the goosebumps. Who is the Holy Spirit talking? to in this hour. This is a time for you to show God that I will not die in transition. I will not fold in transition. God, your investment in me, it will not die. It will be activated <sighs> in Jesus' name. You can go through the pain. You can go through the hurt. You can go through the attacks and still come out with power. God wants to know Will you stand in the midst of chaos? Will you stand when all hell is breaking loose? Can you stand when it looks like the opposite of what I have promised you? Can you stand? God is looking for warriors and not whips in this hour. Beloved, God is looking for those who will stay solid in this hour. You will stay solid when you see nothing. You will stay solid when people are working against you. You will stay solid when the bills are due. You will not fold when things are coming at you. God needs warriors in this hour. Many of you, God is saying he is taking you through some tests in this hour. And many of you, you're feeling like, God, if I don't, if you don't do something today, I'm going to throw in the towel. God is saying to you right now, you will not 
die in transition. You will fulfill the investment that I have placed in your womb. You will fulfill your destiny. You will fulfill your purpose. Who is the Holy Spirit talking to? Beloved, you will not fold in transition. God has work for you to do. God has so many things for you to do in this earthly realm. You will not leave here empty handed. You will not come out empty handed. God is saying there are some things on the other side that I need for you to pass this test of transition. Many of you are in the between, in the between place. And God is testing your loyalty. Loyalty secures commitment. God needs to know before he lets you walk into these blessings, before he lets you walk into the things that he has ordained for your life, can you weather the storm when it looks bad? Or is it just because of the blessings? God wants to know, can you stay solid? Will you fold on my word? See, God's words is heavy. <sighs> the word, it holds weight, baby. God needs to know. His word is solid. But God needs to know, baby, are you solid? <laughs> Will you fold on me? Can you stand? With the attacks, with the pain, with the shame. With the enemies, will you throw in the towel? Beloved, God is not going to let his investment die. In other words, you will not die in transition. Rachel, she died in the midst of transition. God is saying to somebody today, beloved, you will not die. I have so much for you to do. I have so much for you to fulfill your purpose. Your purpose, it means something to me. Baby, this next level, it means something to me. God is singing, baby, this next level is personal to me. I need for you to keep moving forward. Baby, I'm behind you. Baby, I got your back. I need to know, do you got my back, says the Lord? When all chaos is breaking loose, when all hell is breaking loose, when you feel like you can no longer mentally stand God is saying I need for you to stand on the word that I have prophesied over your life that I have spoken to you in the midnight hour I need for you to not die in the midst of transition many of you God is transitioning you out of the old right into a new season but this is a test that you must pass you must pass this test not that God is not with you. It's God is testing you. He's testing your loyalty to the word. He's testing your loyalty, your commitment to him. You won't die, beloved. You will not die. This is only a test. You will not come out of this test empty-handed. But God needs to see loyalty in this hour. God doesn't need wimps, he needs warriors. God needs solid people on his team. Do you hear me? Baby, God is saying in this hour, I got you. But I need for you to, I, I need to, I need to make sure, do you got me? Can you stand on my word? Can you stand? Can you stand on the word? Or when it gets hard, Oh, 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 when I'm not doing what you ask me, would you just throw in the towel? Would you give up on me? God is saying, I will never give up on you. I will always hold your hand. You will always be seated and on the right side of me. Beloved, I need for you to not fold in this hour. I need for you to keep going in this hour. This is just another test. And once you pass this test, baby, there's a blessing on the other side. Do you hear me? The devil only attacks what's valuable. You are valuable to God. You are God's masterpiece. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour? God is saying he has an investment on the inside of you. You're going to produce many things in this season. Many of you are stepping right into your promised land after this transition. But God is saying, I need for you to pass this in-between test, this in-between level.
I need to make sure that you are solid. Baby, you won't fold in transition. Baby, you will not die here. God still has much, much for you to do in this earthly realm. God is building your spiritual muscle in this hour. You have to be equipped for this next level. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying? God is going to bless you right in the place that they attack you. God is going to bless you in the place that the enemy has been trying to keep you bound to. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying? God is singing in this hour. It's not over. I need for you to push through. I need for you to push through the chaos. I need for you to push through the attacks. I need for you to push through the pain. Because you're birthing something in this hour. God is saying, I am getting my investment out of you in this hour. I need for you to push through. Listen, you can't stop right here. You can't fold right here. You can't die right here. You can't give up right here. Beloved, I need you. I need you. I have so much work for you to do. God is saying, you will not die here. I'm changing your situation. Beloved, I'm changing your story. Beloved, I'm behind the scenes working for you. I know it's not easy, but you got to push through. I know it hurts, but you got to push through. I know what they did. I know what they said, but you got to push through in this hour. No matter what it looks like, beloved, I need for you to push in this hour. You have another blessing on the other side. I'm birthing something and it's not nothing little. Beloved, I'm going big on big in this season. Do you hear me, says the Lord? Beloved. I need for you to push. You can't die here. You can't give up here. It's not over. Beloved, I'm changing your story. It's not over. It's not over. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, tell my children, it is not over. But I need for you to stand. I need for you to stand ten toes down in this hour. In Jesus' name. Family, receive this prophetic word. Receive this prophetic word from the Father, from the throne, from the Most High. God is testing your loyalty in this hour. Can you withstand the storm? Can you go through it and come out with power? Can you go through it and say it was good that I was afflicted? Can you go through it? Listen, although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear. Do you hear me, Ken? You still lean on God's word when the storm is looking totally different than what God said. Baby, you're going to come out with something. Baby, you're going to come out on the other side. God needs a rider. God needs a ride or die. God needs somebody that's solid. Baby, God is saying in this hour, you won't fold in transition. Beloved, you're going to bulldoze your way through in this hour. You're going to make it to the other side. I'm going to grab you. Listen, God is saying, I'm taking you by the hand. We're pushing our way through this door. We're pushing our way through this next level. Beloved, this is not the end. This is the beginning. This is a fresh start. This is a new season. Beloved, I have some things for you. I have some things that I did overnight for you. Beloved, many of you are about to walk in overnight miracles, overnight breakthroughs. God is saying, I need for you to push in this hour. It's not over. In Jesus' name. Family, receive this prophetic word. Receive this prophetic word in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. Kisses. God loves you. I love you. Shalom.